Hi, I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and this video is going to be what height you should mow your lawn depending on what turf grafts you have. Let's get into the video. Mowing is one of the most important aspects of the lawn because it's done so frequently. If you miss a mow or mow too short, you can really damage or stress the lawn. So getting the mowing right is extremely important to having a healthy lawn, especially with any of these warm season grasses. So we'll start with St. Augustine grass. Now the University of Florida recommends three and a half to four inches. My personal recommendation is four inches or higher. I've seen good St. Augustine lawns at three and a half, but four or higher is just my recommendation. It makes it a lot easier to take care of the lawn. Now, zoysia grass should be mowed between one and a half and two inches. Here in Florida, I almost see nobody do that. Most people mow their zoysia at four inches and why it's so problematic. It builds up so much thatch and can stay wet in there and get a lot of rotting issues. But I have seen them survive at four inches, uh, but no, if you're having a tough time and a lot of problems with your zoysia lawn, it's because it's not being cut at the right height. Now centipede grass is one to two inches. I centipede grass where we're from is not very common. It doesn't do very well. So it's not a grass I recommend. And also I've never seen it cut that low. I usually see it cut at about four inches. So I have no personal experience from the centipede grass, but the University of Florida recommends one to two inches. Now, bahia grass is what we call highway grass, but bahia grass should be cut anywhere between three and a half to four inches. Bahia grass is one of the thinner grasses, it doesn't have the best looks, but one of the most easiest grass to care for. So I'm sure you can cut this at a wide range, but the University of Florida recommends three and a half to four inches for bahia. A couple other mowing tips is never cut more than one third of the grass blade at a time. That can cause stress or damage to the lawn and make it vulnerable for, for drought, fungus, pests, and weeds. Now, the University of Florida recommends leaving the grass clippings on the lawn, and so do I most of the time. But if you have thatch issues, bagging might help that. But usually St. Augustine grass, the thatch issues is the runners and not the dead grass itself. That's more for a zoysia lawn. So if you have a St. Augustine lawn, let those grass clippings fall. That'll break down as organic matter, and the lawn can re later reuse those nutrients. Really important one here is keep that mower blade sharp. Dull mower blade will leave an uneven cut, can leave a very brown look to the lawn, as well as inviting pest and disease issues. Final tip is do not mow the lawn when it's wet. It'll give it an uneven cut in that brown look. So avoid mowing when wet. I'm Chad with Turf Organics. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.